the Aquos Humor production. Aquos Humor production. So let's draw I as a corner, yeah, and uh, let's draw eyeball, iris, and lens, yeah, and lens, lens. What we have? We have ciliary body here with beta one, beta two adrenergic receptors. Also, alpha two adrenergic receptors are present. Alpha two receptors. So this ciliary body produces aqueous humor and aqueous humor going to this way into the anterior chamber and eliminated to the trabecular meshwork to the Schlem channel. Yeah. Schlem channel. Around 90% of aqueous humor eliminated by this way. And 10% 10% eliminated by US scleral pathway US scleral pathway so stimulation stimulation of beta 1 and beta 2 receptors why, why are we talking about beta 1 beta 2 receptors not about one receptor type but two of them because equal amount of uh, beta 1 receptors and beta 2 receptors are present in the ciliary body so stimulation of beta 1 beta 2 uh, receptors increases or enhances aqueous humor production blockade of beta 1 and beta 2 receptors decreases aqueous humor production this is useful yeah in case of glaucoma in case of treatment of glaucoma so in case of glaucoma we need uh, either enhance elimination or decrease production so beta blockers like timolol or betaxolol are useful useful because they uh, decrease aqueous humor production stimulation of alpha 2 adrenergic receptors decreases aqueous humor production and medication called aproclonidine did you remember clonidine and methyl dopa? They stimulate alpha two adrenergic receptors, presynaptic adrenergic receptors. Topical agent available that called aproclonidine is similar to clonidine, but is available as eye drops. Uh, also decreases aqueous humor production, and blockade of alpha two adrenergic receptors increases uh, aqueous humor uh, production. And medication we see it aproclonidine belongs to adrenergic um, agonist so next about production about production this is how we can affect uh, ciliary ciliary body yeah but we have a group of diuretics diuretic medications that called carbonic anhydrase inhibitors let's say acetazolamide and acetazolamide uh, also decreases aqueous humor production also decreases uh, aqueous humor production by inhibition of carbonic uh, anhydrase and uh, diuretic that called osmotic diuretic manitol also useful in uh, glaucoma treatment so once again we should have balance between production and drainage how we can affect production the last group I would like to mention. So we see it. Yeah, it might be beta blockers. It might be a, a adrenergic agonist that called aproclonidine, carbonic anhydrase inhibitors, mm, manitol enhances uh, elimination, and uh, prostaglandin analogs. Prostaglandin analogs, like Latana Prost, also uh, enhances uh, elimination by U.S. clearal pathway us clearal pathway how we can affect elimination also how we can affect elimination first we should open this schlem uh, channel and we should open trabecular meshwork that present um, present there how we should cause uh, meiosis in, in this patient yeah why meiosis because in this situation we have contraction of uh, muscle uh, sphincter and uh, 
this causes um, opening of Schlem channel. Meiosis enhances elimination. 